Hello and welcome to Shared Library. Today we'll be going over ways to determine an article's peer-reviewed status using OneSearch and Ulrich's Web. You'll often be asked to find peer-reviewed articles as sources for your papers, presentations, and reports. A peer-reviewed article has gone through a multi-step review process by experts in the field for which the article is written. This is more rigorous than other sources like blog posts, newspapers, or magazines, which are referred to as popular sources. For a more in-depth explanation of the differences between these types of sources and what they're used for, see the Introduction to Academic Research Guide, which can be found by clicking on the Research tab at the top right of the page, going to Guides and Tutorials, and then choosing Ac Introduction to Academic Research. Now we're going to find a peer-reviewed article using OneSearch, and then we'll use Ulrich's Web. First, we need a topic and some keywords that will help us find information on that topic. Let's do supply and chain management. And electronics. I've put them into the one search here. For more information on how to build a search, please see our other guides and tutorials or request a research help appointment. You'll note at the top, it's asking me to sign in under the large yellow bar. Right under it, we have over 100,000 results available. And then we have our articles, which include books as well, because we are searching under everything. We'll also note availability, so you can sort through available online, peer-reviewed journals, or open access. We also have creation date and a number of other filters. For right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. If you haven't signed in recently, it will ask you to provide your ETSU credentials. Those are just the username before the at etsu.edu on your email and your standard password. You'll note a lot of these options do say peer reviewed already. However, I'm going to show you one that's not peer reviewed first and how to check it. You'll note that it might take a bit of time to go through 100,000 results so what I'm going to do is filter for articles that are not peer reviewed. So under availability, I'm going to click exclude peer reviewed journals. This has brought up a number of books. However, what I want is articles, so we can go over that Ulrich's web option. So I'm going to go ahead and filter for articles down here under materials. Here at the top, we have an article that is a literature review, but isn't peer reviewed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. You'll note that it says open access, but it does not have that um, peer reviewed option that we will see later on. We definitely have access to it online. And now what we're going to do is verify that peer review status by clicking under links and the third option here. This will give information provided by Ulrich's Web. So this is from a semi-annual journal that is on business and economics. It is not peer reviewed, but it is freely available. If we wanted to see the full view, so like the history of this publication, we could go ahead and click on that link that says information provided by Ulrich's Web and then search the Journal of Industrial Engineering and Management. But I want to show you what a peer reviewed article looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna X out this um, detail page or catalog record. And then I'm going to go back to my active filters and remove the excluding peer reviewed journals by clicking the X mark here. So you'll note that by clicking the X mark at the far right of the active filter, I removed it. And now we once again have the option to filter for peer reviewed articles only. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose apply filter. I'm going to leave creation date open. Now we have 25,000 results. So this has removed the books and stuff that we had and we're just looking at journal articles. 
Next up, I'm going to look at this one here, the understanding the determinants of electronic supply chain management system adoption. This one has a peer review icon and the words to the right of it in bold. We also have it available on um, Science Direct. And then if we wanted to, um, say for instance, this is an older article or an article that we got to the details page um, through a get it at ETSU button. Sometimes they do not always have the peer reviewed icon next to them. You just wanna go ahead and verify that status by clicking the link we did earlier. This one is green where the other one is red. Um, and it is through Elsevier and the title is Technological Forecasting and Social Change. So we have a bit of a description as well as the subject and frequency, just like the other journal that we looked at a minute ago. Let's say that we want to go to Ulrich's web directly. I'm gonna go ahead and X this out and then go into our library databases by clicking on the ETSU icon at the top left. That's going to take me back to the home page. I will then go to databases and then browse all databases and click on U for Ulrich's web. Scroll down a bit and click on that link. We've gone ahead and loaded. I could enter a title or the ISSN, which is basically the journal serial number, or I can type in subjects. So I'm still on that supply chain management. So I'm gonna type that in and hit search. And it's going to give me a number of options. So these are all the journals that are published under supply chain management field or subject. We have some explanations on the icons here. So the first one here, the, the lined sheet of paper is indicates that it has a table of contents. The kind of open book similar to the icon that we have on OneSearch means that it's refereed or peer reviewed. So this journal title, if you're looking for a peer reviewed source, then you're good. The E means that it is available as an electronic source. The lock here, the, uh, or the unlocked lock, indicates it is open access. So anyone is able to read this journal. And then the star means that it is reviewed by a library publication. Not necessarily that it is peer reviewed, but it is like a scholarly thing. It really depends on the topic and the source requirements that you have, whether or not you can use one that has the star, but not the refereed. So that's always something to check on. That is how to check peer-reviewed status using OneSearch and Ulrich's Web. I hope this was helpful. If you need any other help with research, feel free to make an appointment with one of our librarians or check out our tutorials or chat with us.